Now, it's a bit difficult to define what an artist is, and surely there are many of them in KDE, and KDE Plasma in particular, but I wanted to showcase a couple of people in particular because of their work they have done on KDE Plasma, really, really as an artist, not even as developers, to really show how you can just pick up, I don't know, Inkscape as an example and make great changes to KDE Plasma. So you don't need to go down and write code if you don't know how to do that, but you draw as an example, it's still possible to help. And I picked just a couple of uh, people that uh, I know in the KDE Plasma project. Surely there are many others, uh, but you know, this video can't be as long as I wanted it to be, but let's pick a couple of people. So the first one is related to wallpapers and if, of course, Camber Matt. And uh, so all of the wallpapers, uh, at least from 5.0, I don't know before that, but at least from 5.0 are done by Camber Matt and uh, this was four, and then the style changed. And the style changed and started using triangles and with shapes. These are the first uh, nine wallpapers uh, from KDE Plasma. And uh, you can see really the triangles and it has improved. As an example, you can see here, these are the following ones. I remember distinctly Opal, uh, because Opal is actually the first wallpaper I ever saw because I joined, uh, like I started using KDE, not joined, but I started using KDE in Plasma 5.11. So this was the very first wallpaper. And then there was Kokini and Cluster. And it was clear to me that starting from this and then going into this from wallpapers like Bismuth, which is this one, to wallpapers like Kokini as an example, there was an incredible improvement. Like the wallpapers were good before, but I think the very latest ones were super good. Like I, I just loved Kokini and Cluster has been my wallpaper for at least a year. And um, unlikely after Cluster, uh, well, uh, Ken couldn't make more wallpapers because he hadn't the time. Uh, so we had to do a competition and Plasma uh, 5.16 was the first time we actually held a competition. And uh, we actually held two and taken many wallpapers from competition. So all wallpapers up until uh, 5.15 are made by Ken, and then there's many made by other people. But then for the very last wallpaper we have, this is class, I mean, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And then Ken managed to get back to us. This is the website, which is super nice. And uh, it did this one, which is the latest one, 5.24 for the next release. So nine releases later, we still have Ken Vermet. And uh, you can see the whole process, which I think is really nice. He even live streamed it. It wasn't like the first time, even older wallpapers, I remember there was a live stream. And uh, starting from a drawing to making the uh, wire frame, actually this is entirely done from this point in uh, on in Inkscape and Krita uh, for the minor adjustments, but nothing of this is 3D, it's all hand-drawn. And then you can see that you get the uh, triangles, it's still triangles. That's why we could keep a nice distinctive um, style for the Plasma 5 series that will probably work with the Plasma 6 ones. And then the final wallpaper, which is very nice. Like, And also after coming back, he also did uh, new icons. So for example, these are the new ones. These are the one being worked upon. And uh, new, uh, there's a new entire pipeline about icons because uh, it's not as easy as it seems to do, especially like folder icons, because sure you do the folder, but you can't do all of the folder manually. Uh, maybe the one with emblems on it, you need to automatically generate them, especially the ones uh, with different colors. So you need a pipeline to actually generate all of them. And uh, well, Ken did a new style for the folders and also a new pipeline. So that's impressive. And then, sorry, this is the wrong one. There's about mockups. So that was wallpapers and then there was uh, mockups and doing mockups is extremely important because sure uh, you're not actually doing the code that will result in uh, those mockups being implemented but in order for a developer to actually implement something it's extremely useful to first of all convince him that it's a good idea by presenting a well-done mockup 
if you take something that is as an example like this one, uh, well, you're not going to convince anybody. And yes, that was my drawing. So mockups uh, are done again by many, many different people. And there are very good mockups done by almost all members in the VDG except me. But uh, Manuel is, the, I think, one of the VDG members that did, uh, not most of them, but surely a significant portion. This is the ones about Dolphin. Usually, since uh, he also shared the resources, those were then taken and modified by other VDG members. As an example, we get here. Uh, it was uh, the task about trying to find a new style for Breeze. Uh, we eventually choose Blue Ocean. But uh, this is the current theme, but it wasn't so clear. And uh, well, many styles like uh, Manuel did a mockup and then many styles were forked by that side. And uh, eventually Blue Ocean, um, this one, I think is directly the work of Manuel. Uh, it surely did Ocean, I don't remember. Blue Ocean maybe is a more collaborative work. Right now, I don't remember. But uh, if you go see all of the tasks in Fabricator related to doing actually uh, mockups, which is what I searched here, mockup, you will see that many of them, like the, sh the one I showed you here, are done by Manu and others. Sure, I don't want to exclude anybody, but many of them. And then there's also this one, the Blue Ocean update for Breeze icon, which is again made, made by Cambernet. And this is the initial design proposal if uh, it loads. Thank you. You can see that there was a bit of work comparing Oxygen, Windows 11, the current breeze, and then Blue Ocean with um, accent color and many proposals. And uh, the idea is to make it like a bit more rounded, maybe a bit more modern. And uh, I think it works pretty well. This is not the, this is the initial design proposal, but, but even the very style which should be better represented here, is pretty good. This one, you can see all of the icons. So in general, I think it's very nice. Like, uh, let me make you a very straightforward, straightforward example. This is my ability at making mockups. And as you can see, it's not exactly the best. And yes, I did this on like a K color paint. So yeah. But when I want to implement something like this, well, I first have to convince other developers that it's actually a good idea. And if I send them this, they're gonna, I don't know, throw up. So what I did back then was I draw this and then I sent it to Manuel asking, can you please make a mockup that's actually somewhat convincing? And he did it. And it's this one, let me zoom in. And it's much more convincing. You can see that, well, it is, like floating and with this indicator on the bottom. And uh, well, uh, this wasn't actually implemented, but surely having a mockup that actually showed how it would look if we actually implemented it was super useful back then when we were discussing it. So even, even if you don't know how to code, if you're not a C++ Python guy, don't worry because there are many, many contributors that do a lot of things without writing a single line of code. Now, both Ken Vermet and Manuel did write code, do write code, sorry, present, but uh, all, all, a lot of the impact they have on KD Plasma is not about code, and I think that's a very nice thing. Now, if you don't know how to draw either, well, don't worry, because this is just an example. There are many other ways. Like uh, if, you're, if you're good at writing text, you can join the promotion group and then you can start writing for um, like the announcements. Or if you know Blender, you can do 3D renderings for the promotion videos. Or you could help translate KD software to other languages. It's not necessary to write code. So I think it's personally, I love the idea of being able to draw. I'm trying out learning drawing. It's not going very well right now, but uh, I'm trying. And uh, I'm always very happy to go around and see what artists are able to do really that I'm not like, I, I always think I wish I could do that. These icons are so nice. Another thing, another bonus, this one, 
This is the designer of um, Oxygen. And uh, you can see that there's a lot of Oxygen style stuff. He his, was, I don't know, working on this Oxygen revamped theme. And uh, even though personally I never used Oxygen because I came in KDE after Breeze and uh, I found Breeze to uh, fit my tastes better than Breeze, than Oxygen, I meant, sorry. The, this new Oxygen Revan theme has some very nice things. Like, as in a, this icon, as an example, is beautiful. Like, this is the one of the very best icons I've ever seen. I, I just love it. And then there is this, which is also pretty good, although it's not about Oxygen. I love the concept of this sphere. I think it's very nicely done. And then there's the actual interface, which is this one. And it looks nice. Like, I thought that Oxygen like had to look like something from 10 years ago. No, it's very modern, actually. And uh, all of the stuff, you can go into the Instagram account and follow. He even held, like, um, um, what was that? Well, progress bars. Even held a talk about uh, Acad at Academy about this, so you can go rewatch it if you're interested in the project. I don't know if it will like become actually in the future the new Oxygen theme, but still, it's pretty nice to see all of the work being done because it is very nice. In general, I love art. Look at this, like just look at the wa wave. I love that wave. It's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. It's that was it. It's very nice to know that my face is being cut from above. Uh, luckily, my camera is really wants to fall apart during videos, and I'm trying to fix that. Still, I hope this was somewhat interesting as a video. There's lots that I haven't shown, many other mockups and wallpapers. I do suggest that you go see all the wallpapers, and if you're interested in the artists behind the wallpapers that were like not Canva Mets one, but were actually chosen to be KDE default wallpapers, uh, the file dialog uh, that you open to actually change the wallpaper also shows all of the artists, artists, so you can go there and check them out, search for their names, and they're also, I mean, of course, publicly available on the contest pages. So that was it. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.